in today's video we're gonna be start assembling these batteries since I've been waiting to see if I can get a complete set but what I'm gonna be doing now I'll try to start putting them into packs into um, a module so what I meant by module so these are cells so it's just one two three four this is gonna be a 12 volt one two three four this is gonna be another 12 volt okay and I already set up another four which I have one two three four it's not gonna be enough so um, this is what I've done Ta -da! so I use the boss bars in fabricate and um, the thing you see in the process with the Grimmeister Dave me and him were doing this and I got these straps that I already set up to do the thing there you go it's a cable tie they call they call them and it's uh, I think it's a UV rated resistance so this one you can buy at a store here are the specs how many degrees they can withstand and I bought a 48 length at uh, um, 10 ties here these are the ones right here so I started using them and that's the same thing I use on these batteries right here the um, Panasonic batteries if you didn't see the first video and this is what I did and strap all these guys and after that I use the temperature uh, high temperature um, tape the Kempton tape so I use it all over and stabilize these batteries now you've seen what I've done and guys see the strap so I can just put another one up here right now this is a 24 volt module right here and now if I go back one two three four five six seven eight that's another 24 volt module right here so I already got these guys as a 48 okay so I can just use the jumper right here for the cable a longer bolt and I think it's an M8 or or M6 whatever M5 so then I'm just gonna jump them and go about it well I end up buying the long bolt so I can even use like the termination point I can use the longer bolt to go through and uh, set them up um, so I can be able to connect the the uh, the, the cable that goes to the bus bar or if I can just use this as a standalone and use this as a interconnect or the negative part of this and the positive side of here and that will work this one I use the Volkswagen e-golf bus bars that came with the battery so we cut them in a distance and from there we drill them then what I did I peel them I peel the back I'll show you in a few minutes. What I've done, I just took the thing in contact. I don't know if you got that part. And uh, peel off this guy right here. We peel this again, I get a copper. And the copper comes all the way and other side here. So that's how we get it in contact with um, the battery terminal. Get a wide area where we can able to attach this uh, copper jumper. So it's going to be like a bus bar. So it gets into the center and we just keep jumping one battery to the other. And we transfer the power from this place to these cells on all the way down to the end. So let's put some um, a multimeter to see what the voltage is. Here goes the Fluke 101 again. The other one was a, a 323 Fluke. And we can test, I just happened to, I know you guys have seen this Fluke 101, I've talked a lot about it. I would have probably got a, <laughs> um, a promotion talking about a Fluke, <laughs> or maybe a partnership with Fluke. But um, this is the 101 Fluke, and so let's put a probe. So we have... The probe sitting there and we are sitting at 26.21 in series 
So these batteries came like um, almost properly balanced, but um, this is the deal. And um, I have to make sure that if I'm going to do this, I might probably use uh, a BMS for the first time, for God's sake. I don't know, or maybe not. So doing so, we have a voltage which is um, 26.21 and if I decide to put um, a BMS into it and uh, it's just easy way to jump one place to another you see to connect them but this is what it is like and subscribe JW Solo USA thanks for watching another video again for you guys I hope you um, you like my projects if you find them interesting and helpful and these are beginners friendly and um, intermediate and um, advanced level so I'm gonna sh I'm teaching people or I'm showing you how I've done things uh, without buying the BMS and recycle the materials we got from other batteries before and get them to work for own use so you have to be really um, um, a person that knows how to improvise things and get everything works out very well for you so that these are the Wilson Winston batteries so you can see all the positive negative positive negative it tells you on this little blueprint or little prints here fine print it tells you the year these batteries were manufactured. It says uh, the volts. So it's pretty interesting what you can learn about uh, the barcode here. So pay attention on these little things because manufacturer puts a lot of details into the stuff that we don't even pay attention. And probably we end up calling back the seller or whatever. So just be productive that you learn a lot of stuff like and subscribe thanks for watching all right rise and shine everything is done it looks so pretty tell me what you think on the comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, check our affiliate link where you can buy these batteries so we have two strings now two strings of eight so these are 24 volt system two of them is going to be 48 and we have extra four here we need more extra four four more then we can have three strings so so if we had eight more here plus four then we need about 12 more so that we can have four strings of eight. Then it's going to be a 4P8S configuration. Live from the command center of JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. And this project has been lingering around for a while. And but now we, we already brought it to completion. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys for your patience, and I hope you make sense. So we just make all um, some of the leftovers of the bus bars from the Volkswagen E Golf batteries, and that's what we use to develop what we do. What, what we did right now here. So I can take this guy here, negative here. I can push it all the way forward here. And make it as a 48 volt system or the other way around I can get it this way yeah, right. I can get it this way as a 48 volt right makes sense right yeah so this is kind of cool Thanks for watching.
so I can stack these the way anyhow I want them and it's just gonna turn up pretty good yeah I can't wait to put them on charge and do uh, and do a capacity test on these guys that would be beautiful take care love you guys all